not so many problems with that. You have to react, and you know you have to win against Ghana, you have to win against Serbia. No. Let's wait for the reaction, eh? the famous uh, reaction of uh, Australian mentality. That's the way it works, and that's what we are going to do. Pim Verbeek uh, reacting to that uh, horrid loss 4-0 to Germany. Uh, Foz, uh, your reaction to his reaction? It's awful. Uh, I've got zero respect for it. Um, you can lose to Germany, yes, it's not the loss, it's the manner. And it's the manner of the approach, and it's the meek manner of the approach. Uh, you know, you can talk about the defence, but I remember well three weeks ago against New Zealand where it was a debacle. Don't forget, he's been in the job two years. And after the game, you remember against New Zealand, he said, well, you know, it was all over the place. Organisation was very poor. We've got three weeks to fix it. Well, you didn't fix it, OK? The problem for me is this, that uh, the players have to look at the bench and they have to believe in who's there. And I don't think they believe in him. Certainly we don't. Uh, I don't believe, I'll make this very clear, I don't believe that the tactics should ever have been allowed, the approach, because it's, it's, it's not the way we play. Uh, against Germany, uh, it was a disgrace. And well, who, who would not allow them? I believe there should have been people. We've been uh, calling for a national technical committee for a long time. There should be pe Australian people around that group, former captains who understand football and have pride in the country and the way we play and what we're about, who, when that team sheet came out, they would have walked in and said, mate, what's happening? What's going on? Immediately, right? It's not Pim Verbeek's team, it's ours, right? And it's Australia's. He's getting two million bucks a year to send us out in a World Cup and get crucified uh, with, 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 with no attempt to play anything, right? The issue going forward, though, is this. What happens in the next game? I believe that he should now... It's out of his control, actually. To be perfectly honest with you, I would have walked down after the game and sacked him, right? Because it's not good enough. But now it's out of his control. It's back in Australia's control. Send some captains in there and sit him down and say, you justify how you're going to approach Ghana. Okay? You justify what you're going to do. What's the approach? What's the team? What are you trying to achieve? And if we don't like it, we're going to change it. And if you don't like that, you can walk. Okay. Uh, Jono, you were there in, in Durban. Uh, what were your impressions? Well, first of all, wow, you know, what Craig's just said there is a very, very strong word. Um, clearly, you know, there's a lot of uh, uh, passion and tension going on here. Uh, Correct. Uh, you, can't blame, you can't blame the playing group. It's the same aside from probably two players that started. OK, I don't like all this blaming of the players saying they're not good enough. They're good enough, right? It's the same group as four years ago. Yeah, yes, they're uh, older. Uh, Foz, they are professional footballers. Why are they so spooked? The well, they spooked. Spooked. No, 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 yeah, yeah, they weren't spooked, yeah. they were getting crucified, okay, yeah. they're getting crucified, and when you're in a game getting utterly destroyed in front of the world, then all of a sudden the psychology is, what's happening here guys, where are we going? They didn't, they didn't have a plan that they believed in or even, uh, uh, apparently, even understood what it was, uh, and that impacts the players, it's not about them, it's not about them, in fact it's not about Verbeek. It's not about him, because this should have been seen 12 months ago. Right? It's very simple. It's about why wasn't it seen, why wasn't a decision made. That's fine. That's behind us now. What are you going to do now? It's not about him. It's nothing personal. We don't care about Pim Verbeek. We care about the shirt and about the country. And we cannot risk a similar performance in any way against Ghana. It is not possible. We could go out with another 3-0 against Ghana, and what have we shown the world? Zero. We have to go in against Ghana with the correct approach and play like Australians. We will always die on our feet rather than live on our knees. That's the Aussie way, right? And we didn't do it against Germany.